Hello everybody, welcome to a new Q&A with me, Dr. J, your friendly neighborhood dentist, and today the topic is mask mouth. So as COVID is making a comeback um, with all sorts of variants and numbers and names and we're kind of losing track of what's going on with, with that, I wonder, I'm always wondering who's naming these variants. It's kind of interesting. Uh, latest I heard was uh, the, the CEO of Delta Airlines refuses to call it by the name and only wants to address it as a number. But anyways, getting sidetracked here. Coming back to our topic at hand, mask mouth. What is mask mouth? Because we are going back to wearing masks and uh, the CDC and, uh, and recently even Colgate kind of brought that uh, topic up at one of their uh, blogs and, and everybody was wondering like, well, what's mask mouth? Because we're, we've been wearing masks for almost two years now, close to. Um, the pandemic is um, was showing signs of slowing down, but now it's kind of picking up in pockets like here and there, and the people are going back to uh, the mask mandate. So mask mouth is um, the signs and symptoms that are caused by wearing masks for an extended period of time. Um, we are not able to give up wearing masks because masks are protecting everybody. They're protecting you, protecting those near, uh, those are, that are people that are around you, and they're just making sure that they stay safe from the spread of the disease. So wearing a mask for an extended period of time is causing some changes in your oral microbiome and uh, the environment of the oral cavity and which is causing the symptoms that are collectively known as masked mouth. So we're gonna dig deeper into this topic, kind of figure out what's going on with masked mouth, why it's caused, what we can do to prevent it, or what needs to be done if you do have it. Um, so let's go on this journey with me. Okay, everybody, so what causes masked mouth? Um, coming back to masked mouth and the causes of masked mouth are disrupted breathing, dehydration, and recycling the air. All of these things are what causes mask mouth because we've been wearing a mask for a long time and our breathing pattern changes. So let's dig into a little bit about what is disrupted breathing pattern. When you're wearing a mask for a long time, what people are realizing is that because of the constant wear of the mask, they're using more of their mouth, their neck, and their chest for breathing. They're not using so much of their diaphragm. Because of the differences in how you are breathing is causing mask mouth. That's one thing. The other thing is dehydration. Because you're wearing a mask all the time, you are not drinking, well, everybody who's wearing a mask all the time is not drinking enough water. They're not getting enough oral fluids, which is leading to dehydration, which also causes changes in the oral cavity and disruption of a normal breathing pattern. Recycling the air. When you're wearing the mask again for an extended period of time, it retains more carbon dioxide in the oral cavity. Now, retaining more carbon dioxide by itself does not cause any kind of toxic effects, but it does increase the acidity inside the mouth, which also leads to a different kind of bacteria getting overpopulated, which will lead to oral signs and symptoms, which are not always favorable. So, here, you are. here are the causes of mask mouth. Let's find out what we are uh, knowledgeable about, about the symptoms of mask mouth, all right? is bad breath because you've got uh, something like dry mouth going on because of reduction in the fluids that you're intaking, reduced water amounts, uh, reduced amount of water that you're drinking, but our diet is normal. So we don't have enough saliva in our mouths to counteract the damaging effects of the toxins produced by the bacteria, which leads to uh, bad breath or halitosis as we call it, because our foods, you know, onions, garlic, or just any kind of regular foods that you may be eating, starts breaking down inside our mouth, not just in the GI tract or our stomach, but the digestive process starts in the mouth. So the breakdown of that food can cause odors to come and because we have a dry mouth, because of the constant masks that we are wearing, it causes more of a stench to come and uh, cause mass mouth. So that's the second symptom that you wanna look out for as you are um, wearing these masks these days. Bleeding gums, that's the third symptom you wanna watch out for. As you're wearing a mask all the time, as you know, you're retaining more carbon dioxide in your mouth. That's leading to more acidic levels uh, of your saliva, which causes more inflammatory conditions, inflammation, gum disease. If your gums are swollen, if they're bleeding, or if they bleed easily when you brush, or even if you, you're eating normal foods, that's a sign that you've got, you may be suffering from masked mouth. So, the solutions are, you know, something that we're gonna get into, but. First, let's get aware of what the symptoms are so we can kind of 
figure out what we need to do to counteract those. So bleeding gums, irritated gums, red swollen gums, um, if you have soreness, might be a sign of mask mouth. How do we prevent mass mouth? So let's focus on the solutions that we can um, focus on in terms of counteracting the disease known as mass mouth. Um, let's focus on our oral care routine. Make sure you're brushing twice a day, flossing in between, and intaking a lot of oral fluids and keeping an eye on an oral care routine. That's a big thing. If you're not following those basics, the mass mouth symptoms are only gonna get worse and uh, cause more suffering, pain, and discomfort. So oral care routine, start off with the basics. It's gonna be a good solution. Um, freshening up between cleaning. So keeping mouthwash on hand, keeping a small toothbrush in your purse or your bag, having some floss, it's gonna be great. If you're at work and you had your lunch, um, snack, making sure to take a quick brush, brush your teeth, rinse and floss, it's gonna be a great solution in terms of counteracting the mask mouth. Keeping an eye on your teeth and gums. Um, make sure that if you're having any kind of soreness, if you're having any discomfort, any redness or bleeding when you're eating or you're brushing, again, could be a sign of mass mouth. Being aware of that can help bring your attention to it and help have you focus on what the solutions are to kind of counteract those. Staying hydrated is one of the other things, or one of the big things I should say in terms of preventing mass mouth. Making sure that you're getting enough water, taking the mask off frequently, and drinking frequent sips of water in between, and just staying hydrated is a big, big factor in preventing this disease that may or may not be affecting you. Using a clean mask, of course, that is goes without saying, you know, please make sure that you're not using the same mask over and over again, day in and day out. If a mask is soiled, if the mask is dirty, Please make sure that you're replacing the mask as needed to make sure that you're wearing a fresh mask and that it's not, it's, it's allowing you to breathe at a normal, uh, of course it's gonna be reduced, but at least it's allowing you to breathe comfortably uh, at the same time protecting you from you know, the pandemic and the virus. Contacting your healthcare professional. One of the bigger solutions here, make sure that you are aware of your symptoms and if you notice that these symptoms are something that you are having and you're suffering from, give us a call at Media Dental Woodway Dental or Gosh Hawk and Dental. We'd be happy to take a look at you, your family members or friends who may or may not be concerned about these things and call us today, make an appointment with uh, the oral dentist, your oral healthcare professional, your hygienist. We can take a look, uh, give you a complete dental exam and give you an idea of if you are suffering from mass mouth or dry mouth or the symptoms associated with it, figure out what the causes are and give you valuable insight and solutions in terms of how to take care of it and uh, lead a better healthy life and um, enjoy um, a healthy mouth and promote healthy living. So having said that, it brings us to the end of our Q&A session. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to uh, put them in the comment section below or give us a call or email us. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and take care of all your questions and concerns. We'd be happy to make an appointment for you if you want to and uh, look forward to meeting you. Thank you.